Now, climate change has been on the front burner in recent times, and there have been talks about what it will mean for all sectors of society. But not much has been said about sports and the bearing it will have on athletes. In part one of this two-part story, Jerome Foster looks at the concerns of stakeholders and how it will affect the sporting landscape. In November 2021, Barbados Prime Minister Mia Motley was seen as a starring act at the United Nations Climate Change Conference as she called on world leaders to do more in the fight against climate change. Based on a study done by the World Health Organization, climate change is likely to cause 38,000 extra deaths between 2030 and 2050 due to heat stroke and exhaustion. Jamaica is already seeing warmer temperatures and a decrease in rainfall over the last two years. According to CEO of the Jamaica Environment Trust, Dr. Teresa Rodriguez Moody, who says there are risks at play for sports. It might be more significant to the, the, the athlete. Um, obviously, if you are planning an event, it's going to have an impact in terms of if, if rainfall, for example, it, it's not so easy to plan because you may have um, the changes in our rainfall pattern. You know, October, we know, might be always wet. Um, so we don't normally put things there, but what if that changes, you know, for argument's sake? There's a lot of danger health-wise in terms of intensive exercise and high heat. Um, so if we're, you know, if your body is going through an intensive period of exercise, you know, an average soccer player runs between 11 to 14 kilometers in a game. So if you're, if you're running that intensively for a prolonged period of time in intense heat um, and in and direct sunlight, if we're talking about outdoor sports, that can have really huge impacts on, on the health and the well-being of, of athletes themselves. Dr. Moody fears that climate change is already affecting Jamaican athletes. I understand that there are some schools, um, largely in the Kingston area, that have, especially in the summer months, have asked for students to carry hats when they have outdoor sporting activities, um, parents to bring sunscreen um, or to send sunscreen so that the kids can be protected. In some instances, they have used sunshades to protect the students in maybe some smaller play areas. Um, and this is largely because of the increase in temperatures, especially during the summer months. So this year, for example, where our football games were played um, midday and, and, and early afternoon, we had to make provisions to ensure that coverage, uh, uh, proper coverage was provided for the teams, that rehydration was taken care of. Outdoor sports might be at risk, but the industry contributes rapidly to climate change, according to research at the World Resources Institute of Climate Changes and Climate Impacts, Nate Warzowski. One of the fastest growing sectors in terms of contributing to um, global greenhouse gas emissions like you know in the past 30 years it's increased by 80 percent so you know it's almost doubling over the past 30 years um and so if we take into consideration the fact like you know that those facts plus the fact that majority of transportation is fueled by gas or diesel um the more that we have a system where teams or fans are required to travel um the more that we're ending up to contributing to greenhouse gases in part two, we look at how climate change is already affecting local athletes and its stakeholders. Jerome Foster, TVJ Sports.